So I have Workbench with me. So this is like your uh, SQL Server Management Studio. I have to create the tables. So uh -huh. I create new model. So I will create a new model. Okay. So even you can use it uh, irrespective of your any databases. It could work for anyone. So oh. what I need here is I need to create two tables. Correct. So I yeah. can here it is place a new table. Okay. So I just clicked on that, place a new table. I need my table name to be. Uh -huh. My table name okay. should be the employee. First table yeah. should be employee. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Now once I am here, so I can create the columns. Mm. Okay. Let me take first would be my employee ID. I can name that as EMP ID. Correct? Mm -hmm. It could be integer. Mm -hmm. It should be primary yeah. key. Correct? So yeah. I have to check the yeah. primary key, the not null as well. And okay. we can make it auto increment. Auto increment just like serial in your SQL server. Okay? Okay. Okay. AMP ID, I would create another column. So it is best that you create your columns logically that EMP ID. It makes sense that it is employee ID. Okay? Yeah. Then EMP name, it should be a verifier yeah. 45. It's fine. Make it not null. I don't want my name to be null. So these are the constraints on the top of your column you are applying. Correct? Yeah. EMP joining date. Joining date, yeah. It should be of kind of your, you can say, uh, date, correct? Date, yeah. Yeah, date time or date. Make it date time. Mm. Okay. It should also be null. An employee should have a date time column, then it should be there. Yeah. So you can see the structure here that my table contains all these records. Okay. True. So... Employee column and delete this. Okay. So I have three fields in my employee table. Yeah. Okay. Let's save it first. Desktop. Make it on desktop. This is my sample schema. Mm. Okay, so I have saved it. I need one more table, correct? So I can just yeah. click on that particular button. Okay, I can place here it. Create a new table. Just drag it here. This is my department, correct? Yeah. yeah. Department. So I can make it department ID. Correct? Okay. Yep. The department. department yeah. So my department ID would be primary key, not null. It should be auto increment. Okay, mm -hmm. my department name should be worker and it should be not null. Mm -hmm. okay. Not null, yeah. So then these two tables are created. What I now need is a third table. Set which employee belong to which department. Okay. So we will create another table. That would be my relationship table. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah. So what name Let we could map it here. Yes. Employee department. DPTA, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense? So yeah, it, this sense. would have also a idea. ID. The actual ID of the particular team. No. So what I'm doing in Employee department ID. Then we would have EMP ID. So we can just make it EMP ID. Okay. So first one it should be only department ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then ID. So ID this is your uh, the field for primary key. So we can have one more field in the table. That should be a primary key. Okay. 
Hmm. the default id for that table because when you create a table it should have an id so that you can do some operations like archiving or anything once required so it is good to have uh, the primary key in every table okay so it is good once you have primary key in your all the tables it is good for you so because my department id and employee id were integer so i need to make them integer so do you remember that this was my integer in my primary table? Yeah, yeah, it was so, integer. Yeah. yeah, so we need to make that integer. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's not removing. Okay, so it is done. So it should be not null because these are my relations, so yeah. they would be not null. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So let's join them because this is just a physical table now we need to relate it to our actual tables yeah correct so we have to click this table create on your foreign keys here we can see in the last bottom you see we have columns correct in, yeah, we have indexes yeah, we have foreign keys so okay. let's make it emp id okay reference table here we would have the employee table to refer and we will refer mm -hmm. to the ID correct yeah make sense makes sense then we have department, department yes department ID we, this is the foreign key name so you can name it anything like I want to name it employee relation okay yeah we can make it department relation yeah. So it is related to my department, so I can make it department, correct? And it would be referring to department. Yeah. Yes. Then employee, In the employee, it is not ID. It is referring to the employee ID. So the ID is my primary key over there, correct? True. And the department, department ID. So here it is, done. Let's see what actually happens here. Here you see. So when I click on the employee department relationship table, so you see what is structure it has created. Column ID department references. So employee ID refers to employee, the employee ID. Correct? And yeah. the department ID refers to the department. So yeah. what we have did is we have tried to convert our the entity relationship model into the tables. So these are now my tables. So I have my database ready with me. So what I can just do is I can just make it export in the SQL form. Correct. So here we have file. Then we can create a script for that. No, I'm just trying to export that. So export. I need a SQL script to create my databases. Let's mm -hmm. make it. Let's make it on desktop. Sample schema dot SQL. Save it. Create everything over there. Then next. Then finish. Now we will see what has been created into that particular script. So where it is? SQL. Uh, where I have saved that. Let me do that again. Not sure where I have saved that. File. Then export. So it is C, Abdul Manav, then it is under ARC. I don't need under that. I just need on the desktop itself. Next. Okay. So it will show you what it is doing. It is exporting MySQL tables, objects. If you have anything, like we can create the views as well. We can create the store routines. We can create the triggers. We can create the user objects. So we can create many things. Correct? For now, we have only the tables. So we are just exporting the tables. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we are. You can see what it actually creates. Okay, so you can see that. Let me go to then finish it. Now we should have the ready script. You can just see that. Just right click it, edit with not plus plus plus. So here you see, just I ignore the first part of the things because those are comments. So it do create a schema if not exist, my DB. So this is the default database it will be creating. Okay, then character set to UTF-8. Then what it is doing, create table if not exists, employee. 
So it is trying to create an employee table with employee ID, integer, not null, auto increment. And it is also a primary key. Okay? Okay. Uh, so you just run the script in the SQL Server and it will develop, it will create all the stuff, right? Correct. That's what I was trying to explain. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's try to increase, create these tables. You can just copy all the things and just create over there. Yeah. So let's talk about MyDB. So first we will try to create the database. I'm talking about MySQL, yeah. so I will just try to create over there. Okay. So we have that. Okay. Create a schema if not exists MyDB. So query. Okay. We do not have any errors. Mm. Okay. Then the use database. I'm not executing anything in one run because I just wanted to show you how it actually works. Okay. Yeah. The database is used. Now I need to create a table. Mm. Just do it. Done. This table is created. Okay. No errors. Yeah. Then create the department table. Okay, the department is also created. Mm. Okay, now the relationship yeah. table comes in the picture. Okay, so here you see what it is has been done. Create table if not exists employee department. That would be three fields ID, department, and employee ID. Primary key is mm. ID. Index this. Yeah. Whatever the tables you have, it will be by default the indexes. Constraint mm. employee relation. Foreign key employee ID. Okay, mm. references to your employee table with the field employee ID. On delete, no action. Okay. On update, no action. So you can just remove this. We don't need these things. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Again, we don't need these things. On update, on delete, no action. So this is something that I will explain. What we need this. Why we need this. So try to execute this. And the table should be created for you. Okay, mm. so the table is created, mm. correct? Now we can yeah. check the tables we are using, show tables. So we have three tables, correct? Yeah. So let's try inserting some record and we will see how actually we can get the data using relationships, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have employee. So first we will try to, so to see the structure, you can try desk your table name, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Employee ID name can do it. Okay. Mm. So what I can do is insert into employee. employee. You don't need to insert values into the ID field because that is auto increment. So it will be by default yeah. created. Okay. So I need okay. to insert an employee name and mm -hmm. the employee joining date. What values I need to insert? I can create two records in one go, like this. So yeah. my employee name, let's talk about Soumya. Okay? Okay. Yeah. And let's take the joining date as uh, the current date, which is 2016. It's second month. It is 16th. Correct? Yeah. Let's talk about Abdul. Let's make the joining date one day past 2016. It's February. Make it 15th. Just insert the data. Yeah. Okay. So I have inserted the data into your employee table. Now I need to create some departments. Okay. Describe okay. your departments. Okay. So I have department ID and department name. Let's make uh, uh, two departments over there. Insert into your department. I need to insert value only into your department name because your department ID is. It's a auto increment. Correct. Makes sense. Yeah. 